Rick. Hi, guys. Hi, Rick. We have an admin meeting yet. Are we ready, Marta? Yeah, we're good. All righty. We're going to call this administrative review meeting to order on the date of January 8th, 2023. Um, read over the minutes from December 21st, 2022, and those stand approved. Uh, we have one item on the agenda today, and it's UVSO90722. Request for final approval of cell base and subdivision phase one consisting of three lots. And Mr. Burton, you're going to be presenting this item. Yes. Awesome. Am I in the waiting room, Mara? Oh, I didn't see you. No, that's okay. Oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, I'm screen on there. Mm -hmm. Yep, Rick, this is a um, proposal called, um, got a very unique name, <laughs> Subdivis uh, Snow Basin Subdivision, three lots. Um, it is in the FV3 zone off of Old Snow Basin Road in, in the unincorporated area of Huntsville. Um, there's a proposal for three lots. I'll show you on the screen what the subdivision flat looks like. Now, they will come in later and get some approvals for some other lots they're hoping, but the request is for an alternative access um, to access these three lots at the far north end of the property. Proposal includes, as you can see, a common area that surrounds um, these three lots. Now, it's not a it's not a cluster. They're not proposing to call it a cluster. They're just reserving the common area, about 24 acres of it. Um, there will be a shared, there will be a shared well. So there's two wells, and then there will be um, lot three will share with their lot two or lot one. Okay. Developers provided their water rights that are going to put the state okay. to us. Um, and there is enough secondary water for each um for each lot owner to be able to have some irrigated lawn if they want to um, yeah quite large it looks yeah. like in the condition uh -huh. i think it's because they're not maximizing their number of lots that they otherwise could oh, okay um but what we'll do is we'll we have a covenant that restricts how much um area that can be in uh, Seventeen thousand six hundred and sixty-six square yeah. feet. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty big. I, I, I'm hoping they don't go that much, but I guess so they could, could if they wanted to. Okay. Um, and that <clears throat> is that number is actually for all of these lots when they come in as well. Um, we just divided their their secondary right by nine. Is they're proposing? Oh, okay. Nine, I guess ten lots. I mean, the impression they were going to come in eventually, on, but I guess technically these aren't part of the subdivision approval. The so plots recorded that won't be on there. Those uh, are um, future lots. It could be, but it will. It won't have any. It won't bear any weight, right? Because they're just calling it a, a remainder parcel. Uh, we can make that a condition to not show any of the other lots. But really, we're just looking at the. The okay. boundary. Okay. Um, as far as an alternative access goes, one of the things that we found as we looked at their geologic hazard report is this project is impacted pretty significantly by geologic hazards. Mm -hmm. um, there would be, let's see. Uh, the applicant argues that uh, the, the criteria of um, substantial evidence that it's unfeasible or impractical to extend a, a public street to this area is based on that geologic hazards report. Um, CMT Laboratories did their report 
and they say that the property is impacted by several potentially active slopes and mass movement hazards, mm -hmm. which falls in line with what we found when uh, John Lewis was developing Legacy yeah. and wanted the county to take over roads. We said no mm -hmm. um, because of those uh, mass movement hazards. Um, so the this developer is, is hoping to receive approval of that. An alternative access to access those three, and also to access the other, um, the other nine lots in the subdivision um, in the future. Um, based on that, um, one, a couple other things. Uh, there is a stream that you'll notice. Mm -hmm. um, they're showing a fifty foot setback as we've asked for from the high water mark of that stream. Now our engineers are are requesting that the developer obtain something from the state. Um, to find out if they need a stream alteration permit to be able to cross that stream with their driveway. Um, fire has reviewed it and fi fire is given an approval um, of, the, of the subdivision and alternative access and on the condition that the homes have fire sprinklers and a hydrant be installed. Okay. Um, the applicant is going to have to have a 48 hour pump test um, on, on their well okay. when they drill that. But they do have a well permit, uh, but I don't believe they've started drilling yet. I think they're waiting for better weather to do that in this area. Uh, but staff's recommending approval of the uh, alternative access as well as the, the three lot subdivision as, as proposed on the, the subdivision plat based on the findings and conditions in the staff report. Okay. Awesome. The developers review this and they're okay with them? With the conditions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, I do have a little bit of a concern with them referencing phase two and those lots when we haven't given any approval to those. I mean, they do put the note on there that the remainder parcel is not approved for development, but it just, I don't know, I just feel like that's probably not appropriate. Um, so I'm going to recommend approval of this subject to the conditions outlined in the staff report, but making a fifth condition that we eliminate the lots and the phase two indicated on the plat and leaving the note on the remainder parcel not approved for development and no typical uh, Commercial properties LLC remain on there. And this item stands approved. So, well, it's good to get this one going. Yeah, I wrote down your other condition. I'll make sure you have that to the notice of decision. Okay. One thing I forgot to point out they, they have a, um, we made them get an access easement to legacy. So that it's not a dead end. Oh, nice. They've got an emergency egress. Was that required by the fire department? Well, at least did that fire. Oh, good. I'm glad. Okay. How wide is that? It's <clears throat> a good question. I know it's on here. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this meeting stands adjourned. Thanks, guys. Did you see that? Um, did I send something to you? I set a meeting up on legislation that came out on roadways with engineering. And I saw that legislation.